Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Here am I again talking about the distinctive features in the learning strategies and the um, differences for the vocational education and training students. So, the vocational education and training students, the abbreviation is VET, are more comfortable in society constructed learning environment where they can interact with their fellow um, learners and the instructors as they undertake the required learning tasks. Uh, according to Smith in 2003. So the vocational education training students use constructive knowledge from flexible learning, packages designed to develop work, uh, workplace skills, and the strategies they use varies from cognitive, metacognitive, and the social uh, strategy of learning. Okay? Now these strategies assist them to construct knowledge in the workplace where the knowledge are hands-on and practical rather than associated with reading or with listening to the lecturers or in-class presentations. According to Werner et al. in 1998, cited by Smith, the research showing little preferences among the vocational education and training students for self-directed learning and practice. So low level of uh, metacognitive strategy skills required to develop effective self-directed learning. So what are the learning strategies for the vocational education and training uh, students? Number one, the cognitive strategy. In the uh, cognitive strategy, they operate directly on information presented and um, to organize and process it uh, to affect the learning. Number two, they use mental cognitive strategy. Uh, it is defined as a higher order executive skills uh, involving planning, monitoring, or evaluating the success of uh, learning, uh, learning activities. Number three, they use the social strategies. Uh, it is the representation of the interactions with others or adding, uh, adding additional control over the effect. So according to Malin et al. in 1992, the social strategies remind us that the apprentices adopt a different type of learning which calls uh, the flexible learning and the result was displayed below. Okay, now after an experiment on the pay-based learning materials uh, and the workplace learning, uh, Marlon and L in um, 1992 uh, find out that the frequently used cognitive strategies, strategies in her research are the recalling, diagnosis, imaging, application, lining, confirming, translation, rehearsal, practice, trialing, experimentation, and problem solving. So the restricted use of uh, cognitive strategies are generating, deliberation, and comparing. And the ready use of cognitive strategies is the categorizing. Okay, next one, her research found are also frequently used, uh, frequently used of metacognitive strategies are the evaluation, selection, and anticipation. The restricted use of the um, metacognitive strategies are analyzing and the strategy planning. And the really, really used of the uh, metacognitive strategies are the cognitive and the monitoring. All right. Okay. Next one about the social strategy. She found out her research that the, uh, the demonstration frequent use are the demonstration, scheduled classes, peer discussion, and supervisor discussion. And the restricted use of the social uh, learning strategies uh, is the worker observation. Okay. Now. The above experiment on print-based uh, learning materials and workplace learning is uh, by Marlon et al. 1992. So during the process of learning, it is important that we know and identify what is going on in our mind and the strategies that we use while we are processing the incoming information. So now I am sure as you listen through my topic, you will notice your brain processing the information that you hear. So can you identify which strategy or strategies you are using now? Okay, let's, um, sorry, let's conclude my uh, topic on the uh, distinctive features in the learning strategies and their differences for the vocational education and training students. And my um, next topic will be the uh, effects of using an instructional game on motivation and performance. Okay, stay tuned. Thank you for listening and goodbye.